question. Have you ever worried that someone was lying about rape? Every time a feminist opens her mouth. Every single time a woman comes forward about having been abused by a beloved movie star, musician, TV star, YouTubers, that star's fans immediately accuse her of lying. And sometimes they're right. There are men's groups online that claim that women lie about rape 90% of the time. No, there aren't. There are men's activists online, some of them, a few of them, who claim that 90% of rape reports made to police are false. This is not the same thing as saying that women lie about rape 90% of the time. A sheriff in Idaho very recently claimed that they don't need a better system for rape kits which collect evidence because most victims are liars. No, he said most complainants are liars. Which would mean they aren't victims. The majority of our, our rapes that are called in are actual consensual sex. Oh my god, would you look at that? He didn't even say that they are lying. He said most rapes that are called in to his department are from consensual sex. That doesn't mean the women are lying. It just means that they believed a crime was committed, but it turned out it wasn't a crime. See, this is what makes the difference between a false allegation of rape and an unfounded allegation of rape, you see. An unfounded allegation of rape can stem from a situation where a woman is truthful about what happened, but what happened is not actually considered rape under the law, right? So she didn't make a false allegation because she didn't lie about what happened. It's just that what happened to her was not rape. See, you see what happens when you actually listen to people? And I mean, look, couldn't you or me or anybody in the world just make up a rape for attention to get revenge? Out of Why, yes, Lacey. Any woman could, but of course she would never do that because women are perfect.